at the center of drama. At it again. Dive back handspring. She can't afford a mistake now, not even the tiniest wobble. Standing tight back, lands that one all right. What a piece of apparatus to have to do your final routine on, Barbara. Competition nerves can so affect you when you're performing on the beam. Oh, and she disguised that wobble very well. She landed not quite facing far from that free cartwheel, but really you could hardly notice. And that's a mark of a very good gymnast. Able to disguise it like that. Nerves of steel. Nobody better than Tom and Etcher performing under pressure. Everybody was just surprised when she made a mistake yesterday. Yes, she lost 0.5 for four from bars. She's had to be making that up ever since. And still kept her to turn a double twisting back. One tiny little step back on the landing, but excellent work from Tomanich. And that's her coach there, Bella Colori. I think that's the first time I'll be seeing from here tonight. Crowd reacting. We've got people from everywhere. We've even got a delegation from the Nadia Promenade Fan Club from Japan. But before this rotation began, Nadia Promenade was 0.025 in front of Davidova. Now Davidova scored a 9.95. Nadia Promenade scored a 9.95. Dominic knows exactly what she's got to do, looking very, very tensely at the scoreboard. She's got to score the same as Alina Davidova by my calculations. She's got to score a 9.95 herself. She scores a 9.9. She's 0.025 behind Davidova. I don't think there's ever been such a close finish as this. The Romanian supporters chanting, trying to influence the judges, won't do any good. They're really so upset, it's impossible to judge anything. And when it's a long delay, so often when we've had problems, it's been one or two situations on the beam where nobody knows exactly what this new code is going to be. And this is her dismount. And she took a definite step back on the landing. That should be a point one deduction. But will the judges take it away? Looking down from our box, we can still see the chief judge talking. Not happy about some of the marks that go. We've got a poor girl on the floor, trying to perform with din on the one side and hesitation and silence on the other. And Nadia Komanich usually shows no emotion at all when she's waiting for her marks, even her this time, looking a little bit apprehensive. But now, typically, she's watching back a Mongolian on the floor. The whole competition absolutely hanging on this mark. Nobody interested in anything else except Komanich herself. Once again, when everybody ripped her off, it seems as if she might be able to pull the Olympic overall championship out of the bag. You'd like to be listening into that judge's discussion as a Romanian judge, an East German and a Russian, all marking the beam. Now the atmosphere even more tense because the music on the floor exercise has stopped. Scarcely a murmur from the crowd. To beat of her, but hiding her head, she can't look. Nelly Kim laughing about it. She's been there before. She's, really She's leaning over the end of the podium, down by the asymmetric bars, where she scored her 9.95, which put her through from third place up into second to make this challenge. Overtook Maxi Glau. And now you've got Bella Caroli absolutely yelling buttons down there. I can't tell you what, which ones they are at the moment. But 
a man in a green jacket has now suddenly come into the action. He's the focus of attention as he walks around pressing the buttons on some of the individual judges' machines. The men in judge there should have such an important role to play in deciding whether Comanetch or not should win this gold medal. It's very difficult though, of course. The judges are shared out. The judges from four different countries and the Romanians and Russians tend to always be there. Buttons being pushed now on the main machine. Someone's going to do it. And there it is, 9.85 for Comanetch. 9.85. Elena Davidova has won the gold medal. That must be a shattering disappointment up there for the delightful Elena Davidova. And there we see Komanec Davidova being thrown up and down by her teammates. And present day scenes, they love it. Back to you, Dickie. because Nadia Komanec, everyone's decided they're not sure whether it's over yet. She looks almost as if she doesn't believe it still, standing there, looking at the scoreboard. And now, Komanec on the beam, the routine for which she scored that mark, 9.85, wasn't enough. The routine that decided the whole competition. And the gold medal goes to Yelena Davidova. Nadia Komanec, of course, almost seems as if she's won nothing. But she's still done incredibly well when people have written her off. Diva, the overall champion.